Thank you, buddy. Hi, Brian. Oh, my God. Good to see you. 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 Hi, Martha. Good to see you. Hey, Terry. Where's Catherine? She's coming. She did a... Uh, she had like a uh, uh, seven o'clock conference call for the West Coast. Now, she's coming. you'll probably not recognize these gentlemen because they're actually smiling. When they were in their jobs at the White House, they didn't smile because they're President's Secret Service agents. And they didn't drink wine. They didn't drink wine. <laughs> I'm so, still not. It's only him. So Brian Stafford was uh, Bill Clinton's senior agent. He was always the one, you know, when you were training, you were trailing eagle. He was always one. In fact, show, show what, you know, the way you look. Give us your game face. Oh, sure. Well, oh, this okay. is eagle right here. I keep, keep a hold of the belt. Right? Okay, keep the belt. Right yeah, here. keep so the, all those rope the rope lines. lines we shave just, the rope lines. We just pull, snatch pull them back. Like like that. That. Yeah. So show, wait, what's your face look like? What do your hands look like? Remember you said. Oh, the game face? Show the game face. Uh, okay, now you recognize him. It's Brian Stafford. Now I'm going to show you the Air Force One phase when I'm when I'm sleeping with Connie. She had the you only bed. The other than the president's bed, she had the only bed in Air Force One, so I stayed very close. And we slept together on Air Force One and with the agents. And we would start out with a little dance. We would always like Yeah, we would do the dance like, to wind down, to wind down. It was a very we stressful were, day. And then we retired. Now we retired. What are you doing now? Oh, I'm, you know, I'm just doing a, you know, some some business things and just, you know, you enjoying look life. Great. Now listen to this. My son yes. is on President Obama's He's an agent. Now, yeah. Well, he's on PPD. Oh my so, gosh. Now, does, does that date us or what? Wow. Yeah. From father to son. So he was on. <laughs> he was uh, proud he was of in son. Miami. He started in Miami. He was there about seven years, and now uh, he was transferred in January. Oh my gosh. You must be so proud of him. Oh, it's great. Yeah, he's yeah, going yeah. through all that. Yeah. Two grandchildren. So, you both look so. I'm so. Isn't there life after the White House? Isn't there? Oh, Since yeah. you can write your book and go do other things as well. Well, I'm kind of learning. I'm kind of learning this. You know? But you know, you see. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But you write. You can't write your book yet, right? Yeah, no, but no, you no. see a lot of familiar people here, don't you? Oh, sure. It's. it's uh, we've got Debbie Chef here, yeah, and uh, you have to pull in the At Smith. He actually anyway. traveled mostly with uh, First Lady Hillary Rodham. But do I see anything? Get come come up for him. He's spent a lot of time with Hillary Clinton. Let Brian do all the talking because he said at first he didn't. Didn't want any sort of camera time. <laughs> oh, okay. Hey, T.J. Lee, active one. Brian was my mentor. I got I to tell you this. When Bill Clinton tore his quadriceps tendon, he, he really didn't want to cooperate with being immobilized. And three days after his surgery, we went to Helsinki we to meet with Bor uh, Boris Yeltsin. And uh, there was one event in the embassy where... There was a small elevator that went to the second floor, and I know this is being taped. I don't think Bill Reed listens to it. We went to the second floor for the president to meet Boris Yeltsin. Well, the only two people allowed in that elevator was Bill Clinton and Brian Stafford, and I had to run up the stairs. And so Brian and the president get on the elevator, and what did Bill Clinton tell you about whether he can... He wanted to jettison his, uh, his, his crutches. crutches. Right. And what did you tell him? My response was, well, it's fine with me, but I think Connie may cut off a part of your anatomy that, you know, you're not going to enjoy. So and, and that was really great, because then the patient stayed, was very compliant. He stayed, with, he stayed with the crutches. Yeah, <laughs> cutting off the anatomy parts really helps patient compliance a lot. So, but it was great. Yeah. We had such a great time. Thanks again. Thanks good again. to see you. Oh, good to see you. you and great. I hope you enjoyed the book. Oh, yeah, I haven't gotten it yet, but I'm going to. We'll circulate around here and see what we've got around in our group right. here. Oh, here we go. Place. We have Bonnie, and this lady is usually on the other side of the you camera. Should, you have to get Sharon. Sharon Farmer, baby, baby. She, <laughs> ha, yo, yo, yo. President's physician, White House photographer, up behind the president, White House photographer, and she was always on the other side of the camera. So, what was it like, you know? On the other uh, it was terrific, because I got to work with terrific people like you, and your staff. Oh my God, look at here. You got Cynthia, you got Michelle. You got the wild boy who knew all the finances. <laughs> this is the team. <laughs> this is like this, this is, is the, the team. Union. This is um, Michelle Adams, Air Force One nurse. She was actually in several episodes in the book. I don't know who's going to play you in the movie when we do the movie version. We have to make you know, some some cute blonde. But she was there. The infamous Cessna hitting uh, the doctor's office uh, on the. Uh, North side of the uh, south side of the White House. She was on duty that night. She was on. You had gave you the news about the patient uh, in Ireland who wanted to commit suicide. Always the bearer of good news. Yes. So you're throughout that. But she um, also <laughs> likes socks. She took care yes, of socks. She took too. care of socks. She took care of socks. She's very important with that. Uh, what are you doing now? Tell us what you're doing. Um, I'm <laughs> 
I do quality management and homeland security. And you can't tell you any more about that. Yes. And her husband David <laughs> Adams is retired from the Air Force, and he also works. Uh, he also works. Tell me what you do. Well, I work in Homeland Security, and we work in the Office of Health Affairs, working all kinds of policy issues related to bioterrorism, in my case, and political quality management in Michelle's case. So. Great. And then beside him, we have the amazing Dr. <laughs> Robert Darling. He was the first emergency room physician to the White House. Um, lots of great. Actually, he was fortunate he didn't make the book because a lot of what he did was secret. Actually, he yeah. traveled a lot with the first life. You know what? I think the most the neatest story. It didn't make the book was when you traveled with Hillary Rodham Clinton to Bolivia. Do you want to tell us yes. about that story? Um, I was Bolivia when I, when I was preparing the first lady and everybody for altitude sickness and brought oxygen along and put everybody on meds and the first guy to get sick getting off the airplane was the doctor. I made the Washington Post. I wrote the first rule. Oh, there was Not by name. So, uh, <laughs> That's my claim. Okay. Also, the, you know, we should read a I do sequel with your book. You saved literally someone's bottom. Yes. Uh, you had just arrived at the White House. You were doing an advance for Johannesburg. You were on a flight, and we heard that you saved somebody's, you really literally saved, saved somebody's saved, bottom. Saved somebody's rear end. Do you want to talk uh, about that? We, we had the, the short version is a, a, young, a young lady went to use the, uh, the restroom, and, and when she sat down on the toilet, she had lifted both the toilet seat, and she sat down on, on the rim, and, and when she flushed, she actually, um, her bottom... Uh, she got stuck. She, she got stuck, and uh, <laughs> it was actually pretty serious. She actually had a, uh, a evisceration-type injury, but uh, it had a nice ending. We got her off. I was the doctor again, um, and um, uh, she did very well. Great. She's a lifesaver. I know. And then beside it, we have Cindy Wright. What a... White House nurse, Air Force White House nurse, actually nurse to the president for President uh, Bush, R w, w. Bush. And actually, how many years did you spend? You spent a long time. Ten and a half years. You probably spent longer than any previous White House nurse? I, except for a civilian. What, Genevieve, what? yeah. Really? 1957, Genevieve was a civilian nurse. I think she was there 15 years. But for, for military, military yes. you spent long. So <laughs> why do you think that happened? What I don't know. She's a bad. I don't know. She's a bad. She's so good. That's why it's so good. Bad. good. That's, That's why you could get rid of a now, good person. It's okay. It's safe on C-SPAN. You were there when uh, W. Bush um, choked on the pretzel. And he, he called up, I thought he had a cold, he called up to say, I think you better come up. So I thought he just wanted some cold medicine. So went up and he, he said, I said I passed out. And he had a little cut and blood running down on his head. So it was a little scary, but he was fine. And checked him out, make sure no arrhythmias and no neurological signs. And, and he survived. And he was fine. Yeah, eight he, more years. And they think eight that years. he just swallowed a big bowl of pretzel and that stimulated the vagal nerve, and he had a slow pulse rate anyway, so yeah. it just kind of bothered Yeah, I'm told, the reporters asked, and I said, well, based on what Dr. Tubb, who was his physician, in fact, I was hoping we'd show up, um, he was probably one of our healthiest presidents. Had very I, slow I pulse so. rate, was very yeah, athletic, funny. good blood work. So truly, he had great nurses. Great, he had great nurses. So. Nice to see you. Uh, great so seeing you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I just keep putting everybody together. Oh, you know, it's such a great reunion. All these people. I know. I should write books more often. Yes, I should write books more often. I know. Part two. Part two. When we write.